Accurate, reliable measurements are fundamental to growth monitoring and to making sound clinical judgments on appropriateness of a child's pattern of growth. Accurate measurements have three components. A standardized measurement technique, high quality equipment that is regularly calibrated, and trained measurers who are consistent and precise in their technique. Weighing infants under two years. For weighing infants, the scale should be accurate and reliable with a maximum weight of 20 kilograms in one or 10 gram increments, easily zeroed and recently calibrated. An average weight feature is desirable on an electronic scale to accommodate those infants who do not remain still during the weight taking. The infant should be weighed nude in a warm room, ideally before a feeding. Weight should be recorded to the nearest 0.1 kilogram. Weighing children and adolescents. Ensure the scale is zeroed prior to taking the weight. A child older than 24 to 36 months should be weighed standing on a beam balance or digital scale provided they can stand on their own unassisted. Children or adolescents should be weighed wearing light undergarments or lightweight outer clothing. Record the child's weight to the nearest 0.1 kilogram. Younger children who are resistant to being weighed or who cannot stand unsupported may need to be weighed held by a parent or guardian. In such cases, take the weight of the parent or guardian first. Note this weight. Then weigh the child held by the parent. Calculate the child's weight by subtracting the parent's weight from the combined weight of the parent and child. Measuring head circumference. Seat the infant on an adult's lap, keeping the infant's head still during the measurement. Use a flexible, non-stretchable tape measure. From the bony protrusion on the back of the head, bring the tape around the head and position it just above the eyebrow, above the ears. Measure to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. If possible, repeat the measurement three times to ensure the largest circumference and the correct reading is recorded. Measuring an infant's length. Two people are needed to get an accurate measurement, one trained health professional and a parent or guardian. Measure the infant without shoes and wearing light underclothing or a diaper. Use a calibrated length board or infant measuring mat with fixed headpiece and a movable footpiece that is perpendicular to the surface of the table. The infant should be placed on its back with the parent or guardian holding the infant's head against the fixed headboard. The head should be positioned so that the infant is looking up. Simultaneously, the health professional should straighten the infant's legs, bringing the feet into contact with the footboard and holding the feet in place while taking a reading. Record the length to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. Measuring a child's height. Measure height for children over 24 months who can stand unassisted. A stadiometer for height measurements requires a wall-mounted vertical board with an attached metric rule or a portable stadiometer secured to the wall and with a broad, sturdy base as illustrated. A horizontal headpiece that can be brought into contact with the superior part of the head. A stature device affixed to a weight scale does not provide an accurate measurement. The child or adolescent stands against the stadiometer without shoes, with heels together, legs straight, arms at side, and shoulders relaxed. Position the child's head so that the eyes are directed straight ahead. Bring the measuring arm down so that it rests firmly on the crown of the child's head. Read the measurement to the nearest 0.1 centimeter.